welcome to the fresh new episode of Lifestyle with Dr. Taha. Today's topic is DNA. We will touch base the topic of DNA. It is a vital core factor of life. DNA is the smallest evolutionary material that codes for all that information which you will encounter later in your life. Hundreds and thousands of atoms and molecules combine together to form DNA. DNA is actually the nucleus of each cell of your human body. We will touch base the topic of DNA because DNA is the factor that codes for life, that codes for your healthy lifestyle and that is the factor that will tell you that how you will be, how your skin will be, how you will think and what you would do later in your life and what, whatever medical ailments you will encounter later in your life. We'll discuss a little bit more about the DNA factor and how it is structured. If you imagine railroad tracks, there are two sides of railroad tracks and these two sides are combined together they are joined together with wooden material. This genetic code would have all that information that would compile together and make a human body. If you imagine that all these railroad tracks are taken off from the ground and we could roll them up and put it in a piece of DNA and that DNA would be the nucleus of each cell of your body. Now, if you imagine that one of the railroad tracks which has been taken off, for instance, from India, would have seen Mughal era, and one of the railroad track which has been taken off from France would have seen a French evolution. So all that information is there in that piece of railroad track. But that railroad track has been combined together, and we combine that track and we put that track, that piece of information into your DNA and that DNA codes for all that information. Now you will ask me what type of information that DNA has and I would tell you that for example if you have a break in skin then the natural process of healing would start all by its own and the process would stop when the two ends of the skin join together. Why does it stop by itself? That information is there in your DNA of the cell. Now we'll talk about the storage capacity of one gram of DNA. Many efforts have been done to compile all the data that how much one gram of DNA could store how much information. So now we know that lab-produced DNA, which is one gram of DNA, has almost 248,000 DVDs, real DVDs. We, if we compile 248,000 of real DV, real-time DVDs in one gram of DNA, we could do that. Not only this much amount of data can be compiled in one gram of DNA, but it can be successfully transferred from one cell to the other cell. So now we can say that human organ, one human organ can talk to another human organ because of this DNA information. There are many medical illnesses that are directly related to genetic. That's why we have chosen this topic of DNA. So to get you more awareness about what DNA is and how to repair our DNA. talk more about the strengths and weaknesses of DNA factor. The DNA is so much strong that it, it could make a complete human body. We are talking about human DNA. At the same time, it has some weaknesses as well. When it comes to the repair mechanism, we, we should never forget that DNA is constantly being damaged by ultraviolet rays, by radiation, by microsurgeries or by other factors, could be environmental or could be medical. 
there is a constant repair mechanism going on when it comes to uh, uh, repair damaging DNA. These are microessentials nutrients inside our cell of the human body uh, which has to work constantly in order to repair damaging DNA. The most important vitamin is vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is the core of DNA repair. Vitamin B12, we cannot get it from inside our inside body. Looking into the actual science of vitamin B12, which is cyanocobalamine, it is only derived from animal product, from meat and chicken. Those who are vegetarians must have essential micronutrient, which is vitamin B12, in the form of pills or in the form of shots or injections. The lab range of vitamin B12 inside our body is very wide. It is from 400 to 1100 micrograms. Vitamin B12 deficiency could lead to several major and minor problems, which we could see easily in our day-to-day -day busy and stressful life. What it causes, fatigue, weakness, memory problems, skin and hair and nail changes. It causes memory problems to the point of dementia and Alzheimer's disease as well. So we should never forget the importance of vitamin B12. As we have spoken in our earlier uh, conversation that vitamin B12 is essential for our body, for our memory and for our damaging DNA. So in order to get vitamin B12, we have to chew our food properly. It needs to be chewed properly so that it will be absorbed properly in our bloodstream. What it causes, it causes a lot of uh, dangerous diseases as well. If vitamin B12 is not properly absorbed, uh, it causes pernicious anemia. It is a type of anemia which is very dangerous. In order to get proper nutrition when it comes to vitamin B12, if we have taken vitamin B12 with a glass of water and we just uh, swallow it immediately, it would not help us. It needs to be chewed with a food. So it has been seen that uh, vitamin B12 nutrition is very important. So we should all have proper nutrition. We should all have in our nutrition a proper and good quantity of vitamin B12 and the food must be properly chewed. Thousands of patients have been seen with a multitude of symptoms like tiredness, weakness, fatigue and memory problems when they are very young and when they, their vitamin B12 levels have been checked, it comes out to be very low. So they have decided to give it, uh, them shots of vitamin B12, which is the dose is 1 mg of vitamin B12 intramuscular every week for 8 weeks. But we always emphasize here that if you have any problem, you should schedule an appointment with your primary care physician and in case of emergency, call 911. Healthy lifestyle composed of healthy eating, like fruits and vegetables, at least five servings per day. Use of monosaturated or unsaturated fatty acids instead of polyunsaturated fatty acids. In simplest terms, we could use virgin or extra virgin olive oil, plenty of fibers, psyllium, whole grains, food which contains low glycemic index, non-sugary food, exercise every day or at least 20 minutes of a walk for three days in a week could reduce cardiovascular events tremendously. The studies has shown that if you could increase more than seven times per week consumption of mixed nuts, that is walnuts, hazelnuts, and almonds, that could prevent you and that could decrease 20% of cardiovascular events, stroke events, cancer risk, or respiratory events. Viewers, you all 
all know that this program is all about your healthier lifestyle, yourself, your loved ones. Smoking is the most preventable disease in United States at this time. If we quit smoking, we can increase our longevity. What are the health risks of smoking? It causes cancer, like head and neck cancer, lung, pancreas, and stomach. It causes cardiovascular diseases. In pregnancy, if you smoke, it causes low birth weight babies and the fetal anomalies are directly related to smoking. What it does to your cholesterol, it increases your LDL, that is the lousiest cholesterol. It decreases your good cholesterol, that is HDL. It increases your glycemic control, that is it is related to diabetes risk factor as well, and obesity. There are many treatment options available. You need to schedule your appointment with your primary care physician and discuss with those treatment options. There is nicotine patch available and there are non-nicotine replacement therapy also. In case of any questions or queries, please call our studio or email us in case of any emergency Call 911, schedule an appointment with your primary care physician. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much.